lot of shops here. A lot of shops here. All right. On your way. Prison towers. I'm listening. Welcome. Layman Analog Vernacular, can I tell you about our services? Okay, so you're part of the Imperial Cult. Would you like to become a lay servant? A lay servant? It is not possible to become a priest or consecrated cleric without joining cult orders. You would be forced to devote yourself full-time to the Imperial Cult, which doesn't suit adventurous people like yourself. But we do need lay servants, earnest laymen dedicated to serving the Nine, for certain unglamorous but spiritually rewarding tasks. At present, we need almoners to serve Zenithar, lay healers to serve Mara, and shrine sergeants to serve uh, Stendar. Okay, almoners. Gather alms from members and friends of the faith. We depend on donations to fund most of our good works. Almoners who are successful at bringing in generous donations may rise in the ranks of Imperial Cult Service. If you are interested, speak to Iulis Truptor at the Imperial Chapels in Ebenhart. Okay. So, we need to go to Ebenhart to do almoner quests. Um, let's look at all of these and then I'll take I'll take notes on each of them. Okay, lay healers, gather ingredients for health and healing potions and minister to the sick and hurt and poor in isolated communities. It is difficult and sometimes dangerous work, but the spiritual rewards are great. If you are interested, speak to Sinolian Tunifus at the Imperial Chapels at Ebenhart. Okay, that one's Ebenhart as well. Shrine sergeants. Okay, they're all at Ebonheart. Okay. Carries messages and packages, sometimes escorts priests and lay servants on dangerous missions. Okay, so basically, um, we pick up our... If we want to get started on quests for the Imperial Cult, it looks like all of them need to happen at Ebonheart. So, I'm going to take note of that real quick. All right, so already we've got um, Imperial Cult quests as well as that one for the Dark Brotherhood that uh, are supposed to be started in Ebonheart. So um, clearly we need to go to Ebonheart, um, but obviously Balmor is going to be our first first place to go to. That's the place where you get started on a bunch of uh, different uh, um, uh, factions and whatnot, so we'll definitely be going there first, but Ebonheart might might be second up on my list of places to go, huh? Um, let's see, what else did you have? So, bartering, what do you sell? Looks like you got some random stuff. Two to five. One to four on those. Steel bolts, two to four. How are we doing on... Okay, those are one to three. And we've got quite a few still. Interesting. I wonder if one of the things that I added in the Morrowind code patch means that if I don't hit with an arrow, it isn't consumed? I feel like we're not going through these arrows as fast as I thought we were. So I think that if we miss, it's not using up the arrow, which I think is a quality of life thing that I think I'm okay with. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that, if I'm being honest. Um, We definitely want to sell this to somebody that we have a really high... Um affinity with, so we're going to keep those for now. Yeah, we're going to keep those for now. Yeah, man, like us getting that armor so early is ridiculous. I didn't think the Dark Brotherhood was going to come after me until, like, a couple weeks into the game. But they've come after me twice, and I don't think that's normal. I wonder yes. if um, I've got a bug. I know that they come er somewhat early in the game, but I think it's only supposed to be one person, so... What is this Yeah, about? I don't know, man. It's a little bit weird, but... 
Journeyman's Retort and Journeyman's Alembic and a Mortar and Pestle, Calcinator. I think you need those for some alchemy stuff that you can do. But we might look into that a little bit more closely um, once we get to Balmora and maybe join the uh, Mages Guild. I think some of the Mages Guild stuff teaches us that. Zenithar's fortune to you. I want that money. <laughs> Ooh, you can do spell making. Burden. Okay, I think that. Yeah, okay. Spell trap, spell absorption. Reflect 10 to 30% for 10 seconds on self. All right, so alteration. Let's just look in the areas of uh, what we're good at. So restoration, resist frost, shock guard, don't need that. Resist poison, resist magicka, 20 to 40%. Ooh, that could be good. That could be good. Now, when it says 30 points, does that mean that my, I, 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 Hold on, let's, you know what? Let's figure this out. This is a good opportunity for us to figure this out. Okay, be quick save. All right, so our restoration is currently 15. Okay, restoration is 15. This is 30 points. Cost, 30. Chance, currently zero, but that's because we don't have enough. We'd be able to cast this once. Gotcha. So the 30 is how much Magicka it takes, and our our, our uh, max Magicka is 50. We're going to work on that. Maybe the next level up, we're going to work on our willpower, which I think will give us more Magicka. Um, yeah, yeah. So... Okay, let's see. This balm is our healing, right? Failed to cast. There we go. That one worked. Okay, cool. So we need to start using that more. We need to use that a lot. <laughs> Walk with Stendar, citizen. Which means we'll have to rest a lot to keep using it, I think, but... Okay, what else do we got here? Fortify health, fortify strength. I like the idea of fortify strength being an option. Fortify endurance is good too, but we'll wait. Let's not overdo it. Now with spell making, we have to have the spell first. Yep, the base of the spell. Touch, self, or target. So... Yeah, so that would be a ranged one. Is area... Forty-one to forty-one. Yeah, man, that already costs thirty. Thirty magicka. Ooh, that goes up real quick, doesn't it? Sixty-two spell chance. Okay, cool. So I like that it does tell you all that spell chances. So like, if this was like forty-five, if I lowered the base magnitude. That does increase the chance. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll, we'll worry about that as we uh, get further in. Um, we're not going to do this now. Ooh. 
I want those. They're better than the cheap ones, so I want those. Okay, healing altars. There should be a healing altar here somewhere, I think. I just don't know where. Keep walking. Okay, prison towers. Nobody's around. Twenty one value ninety. That's a better value for the weight. Weight proposition on that was much better. Okay, athletics has gone up. Exactly are the prisons then? These are the prison towers, aren't they? That's what they're called. All right, we're gonna go over to that, and then we're gonna go to Balmora. I What's stole about? nothing, Imperial Archer. So stop looking at me like that. I would never steal anything. It's not in my nature, okay? It's just not in my nature. It's not. It's it, it's not in my nature. What do you mean my class is called Cut Purse? Screw you. Do I dare? I think I can make that jump. F5. <laughs> Quick save is just the best. And I have an excuse to use this. <laughs> okay, that spell is going to be great for us, actually. And if we start using that, um, we'll on our next level up, we hopefully will be able to get some better bonuses if we uh, use Restoration, Destruction, and Alteration and get those to get some level ups or some rank ups. Then we can get a decent bonus in willpower, uh, which would be good. Now, I'm not min-maxing, and a lot of people would min-max, um, but we'll just kind of like take it somewhat naturally. I'm not going to be grinding so to speak. I may withhold on getting my level up for a minute to get better bonuses, but I will I will not be grinding in the sense that I'm going to sit in a corner for 20 minutes off screen or on screen and, you know, work on getting something up, you know. Okay, there's not really much going on in this tower. Okay. Just wanted to see. All right, off to Balmora. Now, here's the thing. Anybody who thinks that this is the most boring thing in the entire world has already left this playthrough. Um, and some people will do that not knowing the, the gloriousness that is this game. Um, once we get to Balmora, things might start picking up a little bit. Now, this game is always going to be a slow burn. It, it's always going to be a slow burn. That's just the way it is. But things are going to start picking up a little bit once we get into Balmora. There's going to be lots of different options for us to do. One of those, uh, several of those options are going to be a couple of different guilds. Uh, Mage's Guild, Fighter's Guild, and the Thieves Guild. So, um, yeah, exciting things are coming, is what I'm saying. Now, some of the missions are going to be boring to some people's standards. But they do get, some of them are better than others, and some of them will be more interesting than others. But the point is, is that this game is very much a product of its world. 
Or let me put it this way, this game is here to serve the idea of a living, breathing world. And I think it does a really good job of that, honestly. And I think that's why so many people love this game, even though it is on paper a lot of busy work. You know? Um, yeah. Oh, man. That's Balmora. I... I know this bridge so well. <laughs> and uh, had we used the Silt Strider, we would have just gone from Sedanine to this point right here. Um, we chose not to do that. And we have spent several hours just making our way here and doing a bunch of different things, gaining our first level up, which are few and far between. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. God, these things are creepy. So, when you're traveling on these things, you're actually inside of its hollowed out shell. And they are literally pulling on its guts to control it on the inside from what we, <laughs> from what we heard from somebody earlier. Lovely. Just absolutely lovely. Oh, man, Balmora. Oh, it feels like coming home. Um, because in my in my playthrough of this game, I did make one of the homes in this city my home. And I might actually do the same thing here. How's it going, buddy? How you doing, Hull? Hello, friend. I'm Hull. Welcome to Balmora. If you have questions, I'd be happy to answer it, or try anyway, and then to... If it's just a little advice you'd like, that's fine too. Tell me about Balmora. Oh, it's the council seat of Great House Lalu, and the largest town in Vardenfell except for Vivek City. Located on the Odai River and sitting astride the Aldrun Vivek Road, Balmora is an important mercantile trade and travel e uh, center. High Town is the administrative center, with the temple and manor houses. The shops, guilds, and trade houses of the commercial district are west of the river. Labor towns, modest corner clubs, and homes are east of the river. Okay. Uh, rumors. The Legion champion L Lardius Varro over at Moonmoth Legion Fort has sworn an oath to stop corruption. He hasn't had much luck going through official channels. The syndicates have got the people, their people covered, coming and going. He'll never get anywhere working through the system. He's going to have to find some... He's going to have to find someone who can get him around the system. Or through the system. Like, straight and hard through the system. <laughs> okay, our journal has been updated with that. So, we know that Larius Varro at Moonmoth Legion Fort is trying to get rid of corruption. And uh, we'll probably have an opportunity to help him out if we go and talk to him. I'm going to put that in my notes. Alright. So that was rumors. How about advice? Outlanders New and Vardenfell do best in Balmora. House Lalu is imperial through and through, and you get a good mix of native and imperial people and services. Not as friendly to Outlanders up north in House Rhetoric country. Or down in Big Vivek City, and definitely not friendly out east with the Telvanni wizards. Shop the outfitters, then check out the guilds for work. If you want to be adopted by a great house, you'll need a patron. And that's easier when you've got a reputation. So we um, will be able to join one of these three houses. I think once you choose one of them, you're locked out of the others. Um, I originally did House Lalu, which I think a lot of people that have only played it once probably did choose. House Lalu because it's the first one that you run into. Um, but I may actually try Telvani because um, I've heard several times that it has the best quest line and has some really, really good rewards. Um, it's a tough one because it requires you to be a pretty tough wizard, and that's something that we're only kind of uh, tangentially going to be good at. <laughs> it's not our main focus, it's kind of our secondary focus. Um, but I think between destruction and alteration, that's going to help us uh, join the Telvani. Um, something to note. Um, the Telvani are ardent slavers, and uh, that has nothing to do with my own personal views on slavery. Obviously, anybody with a mind 
is not okay with slavery, but this is a fictional world, and we are living in this fictional world, and we are going to um, have to deal with some people who are shitty in this world. So, that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. So, and honestly, I think that's kind of cool that this game just kind of allows you to kind of live in a world that's imperfect and shitty a lot of the time. Like, this world... The world of Morrowind kind of sucks when it comes down to it. Not, I, 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 I actually like that. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah. There's our advice. Little secret. Be careful before you get into bed with a particular faction. There is usually a competitor or ideological opposite to any one house or guild. So find out who your enemies will be before you pledge your allegiance. This is very true. Um, there are definitely some conflicts even amongst some of the main factions that we are going to be meeting here. And we might have to be a little bit careful about the order in which we do some quests for some of these factions. If we want to do them all. Don't stand about. Get moving. Okay. So, let's remind ourselves, first thing that we're going to do is... Okay, this is marked for us, that's good. Oh, we could have followed up on that. Interesting. Alright. Alright, so now that we've done the travel by foot. We're going to go back. <laughs> I wonder if this travel ca uh, counts as a rest. I think it will. Hopefully we'll get our uh, magicka back. Okay. Travel. Um, we're going to go to Sedanine for 12 gold pieces. Why walk when you can ride? Why walk when you can ride? Okay, we did get some of our magicka back. Not all of it, but some. Okay, so she's the one who actually told us that, um, that we just saw in the journal. What was that guy's name again? Um, okay. Uh, Vodunius Nucius. Glory and honor. Can we hurry this along? Is it you? Let it me. is. Um, so what's going on, buddy? Why are you unhappy? I'll tell you what I can. I'm not happy here. In fact, no, I'm not. If I had a hundred drakes, I'd be on the next boat to Narsus. I came here to make my fortune, and all I've gotten this is this cursed ring. Say, would you give me a hundred drakes for it? The ring itself is worth more than that, but the enchantment is cursed and no one will buy it from me. It has a nifty little enchantment that helps you run faster. Problem is, it sucks the blood right out of you every time you use it. Please? You'll be doing me a real favor. Hmm. Okay. I'll do it. Thank you, you're a lifesaver. I'll grab the next boat out of here. Thanks again, and I hope your luck is better than mine was. Okay, cursed ring has been added to your inventory. So it probably reinforces our speed, but does some damage. Question is, is how much? Damage health, 10 points on self, and fortify athletics, 5 points, or 60 seconds on self. Okay, so we take 10 HP damage, which is a little bit less than a quarter of our damage, of our uh, full HP, which is 44. But we get a little boost in speed. Um, let's see, so it is worth a hundred, so he lied to us when he said it was worth more than that, but hey, you know what? We can make use of this. We can fortify for 60 seconds our athletics, and then we can use a healing thing, and all the while we'll be working on all sorts of different stuff. Um, oh yeah, we gotta remember to pick this stuff up. Now, you like us, all right. You've got 800. You don't want heavy armor, so we can sell those to you. And 
and we're going to keep the ring. Please, feel free. Talk at your leisure. All right. Honestly, um, we're going to lose 200 gold on this if we do this, but I kind of just want to do it to clear the quest out of the journal. And we're doing pretty good on money at this point, so I'm okay doing that. So mostly this is just to uh, clean that out of the journal. So we lose That's 200 gold. Like That's fine. Direct. Come, now, I let's like just you. double check and make sure that he doesn't have anything else that he wants us to do. Good that you found that for me, friend. I'll make that little fetcher pay for lying to me. Although I've got to be honest, it is kind of fun messing with the little guy. I like to take something from his uh, place and stick it in that old barrel in the census and excise courtyard. <laughs> Gives the new arrival something to look forward to. So yeah, this guy is the guy who put that ring in that barrel. What a jerk. <laughs> this guy's an asshole. <laughs> he likes us, but we don't like him. He's an asshole. Join the Imperial Legion. Okay. Are you actually part of the Imperial Legion, Blackfoot? Mm, all right, that's fine. You've piqued my interest. My time is captured. Your so is all right, yeah, we want to pick up that stuff because it's worth money and we might actually be able to fence it soon. I can't remember if the Thief's Guild fences uh, Moon Sugar or not. Um, Fargoth, where are you? Let's see if we can talk to him. What assistance do you need? I don't have a hiding place, at least not anymore. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. All right, we've made him like us. Um, he doesn't know what we did against him. Poor guy. Yes, thanks for finding it. Those guards better look out. Part of me kind of wants to try Keep and moving. steal it from you. Um, I just quick saved. Um, this guard is gonna stare at me though. That's unusual. Eh, all right, it's not worth it. Well. It's not worth waiting for them to leave me be or to uh, move into a position where we might actually be able to do it. <laughs> All right. That is the amount of the world that we've traveled in those couple of hours. So in the grand scheme of things, this is a tiny open world, but... Um, where would you like to go? In practice, there's a lot going on. Oh yes, he steers business my way. Okay, he's unhappy. We got the ring from him. Um, let's see, did that clear him out of the journal? Yes. Okay, this is what we're doing now. So we need to go to the corner club uh, called Southwall. Okay, to try and locate Chaos Cassades. I know where he is. But we're gonna do it the way that the game wants us to. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do the role play. I know where to find him, but let's see. I think the corner club is the one over here. Although it could be over there. Let's just check. I think it might be this. South Wall Corner Club. All right, Chaos Crusades. Where are you at, buddy? Welcome to Balmora, council seat of House Lalu. How can I serve you? Uh, what do you sell? You have to get rid of that moon sugar if you want any services from me. I don't want any trouble. All right, we'll do this later. Chaos Crusades. The old sugar tooth? Sugar tooth. Moon sugar that she doesn't want anything to do with. A drug so bad. And this guy is considered a sugar tooth. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not sure where he's living now, but ask Bacola Clausius, the owner. He'll know. Okay? He's the owner. He must be around here somewhere. Okay. Bacola Clausius. Oh. Come on, then. Say something or move on. There he is. Let's hear it. It's late, friend. 
Dark hours for dark business, as they say. Go warm yourself by the fire downstairs and have a jug of monster or two. Or perhaps you'd like one of our beds for the night. I imagine you'll want to sleep in tomorrow, given the hour. Speaking, I'm the owner and proprietor of the South Wall. Yes, this is the South Wall. I was trying to see if you'd tell me more about it, but okay. Chaos Cassades. Old Chaos rents a little bed and basket just up the hill to the north edge of town. Go out the front door. Not the upper door to the terrace, then right up the stairs, then left at the top of the stairs, and down to the end of the street. Okay. So, out the front door, right up the stairs, then left at the top of the stairs. End of the street. Lock level 50. Hey, we can get in there if we really wanted to. Um, we'll come back here, and uh, we'll talk to more people here, as well as many other places in town, but... I'm Drelsia Arethi, Mrs. Balmora. I don't believe we've met. Is there something I can do for you? Latest rumor? House Lalu's Guar herders have had some hard times these last few years. Okay. Little secret? Buy from merchants and traders who like you. You get better prices. Members of your own factions usually like you best. This is true. Okay. End of the street. Up the stairs and end of the street. Dalmora. Chaos Crusade's house. Yes. A good skooma pipe. He just leaves this shit right out, huh? So he's got moon sugar. He's addicted to skooma. Yeah. War of the First Council. Let's actually read this. This account by the Imperial scholar Agrippa Fundilius is based on various Imperial and Dunmer sources, and written for Western readers. The War of the First Council was the First Age, religious conflict between the secular Dunmer, House Dwemer, and Dagath, and the Orthodox Dunmer houses Inderil, Redoran, Dress, Lalu, and Telvanni. Some of these still exist. The First Council was the first pan-Dunmer governing body. Sorry, I had to mute my microphone and do a little cough. I was... Ugh. Yeah. Which collapsed over disputes uh, about sorceries and enchantments practiced by the Dwemer and declared profane by the other houses. So the Dwemer are uh, the dwarf race that um, have disappeared from the world. Um, nobody really knows what happened to them. The secular houses, less numerous but politically and magically more advanced and aided by Nord and Orc clans drawn by promise of land and booty initially campaigned with great success in the north of Morrowind and occupied much of the land now comprising Redoran, Vardenfell, and Telvanni district. The Orthodox houses, widely dispersed and poorly organized, suffered defeat after defeat, until Nerevar was made general of all house troops and levies. Nerevar secured the aid of nomad barbarian tribesmen, and contrived to force a major battle at the secular stronghold of Red Mountain on Vardenfell. The secular forces were outmaneuvered and defeated with the help of Ashlander scouts, and the survivors forced to take refuge in the Dwemer stronghold at Red Mountain. Okay. After a brief siege, treason permitted Nerevar and his troops to enter the stronghold, where the secular leaders were slain, and Nerevar mortally wounded. General slaughter followed, and House Dwemer and Dagath were exterminated. Nerevar died shortly thereafter of his wounds. Three of Nerevar's associates among the Orthodox houses, Vivek, Almalexia, and Sothasil, succeeded to control over the recreated First Council renamed the Grand Council of Morrowind, and went on to become god kings and immortal rulers of Morrowind, known as the Tribunal of Elm Sivy. Okay, this is a lot of lore that is actually pretty relevant. And is only a little sliver of uh, information about what's what's going on here. All right, Chaos Cossades. Where's your shirt, you drug-addicted fool? What? Yes, I'm Chaos Cassades, but what do you mean you were told to report to Chaos Cassades? What are you talking about? Report to Chaos Cassades. So, you say your name is Analog Vernacular and you've been told to report to me and deliver a package. Perhaps you'll let me look at it? Well, we wouldn't get very far if I said no. 
Yes, very interesting. So, uh, it says here the Emperor wants me to make you a novice in the blades. And that means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to follow my orders, Analog Vernacular? Okay, so the blades. These are the basically the hidden faction within the Empire. Their secret uh, force in the Empire. They're kind of like the CIA, Secret Service, mixed together or something. <laughs> Orders. Oh. Package for Chaos Cassades has been removed from your inventory. Yes. Good. Welcome to the service, novice analog vernacular. Now you belong to the Blades, where the Emperor's eyes and ears in the provinces. You must use my bed if you need to rest, but leave my personal stuff alone, unless I say otherwise. If you like, you can improve your modest skills with our Blades trainers now. Or if you're in a hurry, I can give you orders right away. But don't forget to visit the Blades trainers. Okay, Blades trainers, where are they at? They're not free, of course, but cheap for a fellow agent. Look for Rithleen, Tyre Malin, and Ninetoes here in Balmora. In Caldera, see Serene Lyurian. In Aldrun, see Gildan. Siorvar Housemouth lives in a hut west of Caldera. Man, these names are such mouth mouthfuls. I can't even talk. <laughs> uh, I'm getting tongue-tied. In Caldera, and alone, the scout can be found in Errol's trade house in Sedanine. Yeah, we met her. Yeah, she didn't want to, uh... Yeah, okay, there we go. So, alone in Sedanine. Let's see. Alright, the two here. Let's ask about them. Uh, lives two houses south, downstairs. Okay. Tairame Lin and Nine Toes. To get to 109 Toes, leave my door facing south. Go right down the steps, then turn left and head south, looking for his door on your left. Okay. Go right, turn left. Door on the left. Okay, cool. So both of them are have houses relatively close by. Gotcha. All right, we're going to go and find Nine Toes and Tyr Malane and see what they can train us in. And then we're going to come back and get our orders. Unarmored, Speechcraft, and Hand-to-Hand. -hand. Okay. Speechcraft. 179. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we'll get we'll get some training in that. I think it's a little too early for us to go too hard into uh, getting trainings, especially in the skills that we're going to be using a lot of anyway. Although I think we have to use this more in order to get good at get better at speechcraft. So like this one is a good one for us to actually just pay for. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. You know what? We'll get our orders right now. All right. First thing, Pilgrim, you're new and you look it. Here's 200 drakes. Go get yourself a decent weapon or armor or a spell. Second thing, you need a cover identity. Around here, freelance adventurer is a common profession. Sign on with the Fighter's Guild or Mage's Guild or Imperial Cult or Imperial Legion. Advance in the ranks, gain skill and experience, or go out on your own, look for freelance work or trouble. Then, when you're ready, come back and I'll have orders for you. Okay. Um, this is a little bit obtuse. Um, okay, so we can actually just pick up our orders right now anyway. Ready for orders? Good. Go talk to Hasfat Antibolus at the Balmora Fighters Guild. Ask him what he knows about the Nerevarine. Secret cult and the Sixth House secret cult. You'll have to do him a favor first, probably an ugly favor, but do it. Then get the information from Antibolus and report back to me. Okay? Continue. By the way, Hasfat is a student of Morrowind history. Take the chance to get a little education, and I have a few history books in here. Help yourself. You're welcome to them. No point in being part of history if you're too ignorant to understand it. Okay, Morrowind history. A short history of Morrowind has been added to your inventory. Cool. Hasfat Antibalus. He's drill master of the Balmora Fighters Guild. He's lived in Morrowind all his life, knows the natives, and talks a lot with backcountry mercenaries. He thinks of himself as a scholar, and he's particularly interested in Dwemer ruins and artifacts. Okay. And what is this Nerevarine uh, cult? Some Dunmer believe that an orphan and outcast, a youth born on a certain day to uncertain parents, 
Hmm. I feel like at the beginning of the game, I may have been described that way. We'll one day unite all the tribes of the Dunmer, drive out the invaders of Morrowind, and re-establish the ancient laws and customs of the Dark Elven nations. They call this orphan and outcast the Nerevarine, and say the Nerevarine will be a reincarnation of the long-dead Dunmer general and first counselor, Lord Inderil Nerevar, who we just read about in that book. Okay. Um, and the Sixth House, what is this other cult? A trusted informant says there's a secret cult associated with some strange events recently, and more important, my informant thinks these recent disturbances are related in some ways to the Nerevarine prophecies. And what are these prophecies? The illiterate Ashlanders pass down their customs and histories in the form of poetic verses. Wow, that's really racist of you to say, my friend. <laughs> Like I said, racist runs rampant in this world. Among the things they preserve in verse are the dreams and prophetic visions of their wise women. In particular, the verses that foretell um, the coming of the Nerevarine. But I don't know much about it. That's why I'm sending you to find out. Uh, may maybe they actually are just actually legitimately all illiterate. And it's not actually as bad as it sounds. But probably not. I don't know about much about the Ashlanders. Most people say they are murderous savages, but most people are idiots. Okay. I know they hate their settled Dunmer cousins almost as much as they hate Westerners. Okay, so basically they're the Dunmer who um, stick to their older traditions, it sounds like. While um, other Dunmer have kind of colonized a little bit more within these settlements. They must be tough to live in the Ashlands. I don't think Outlanders can become members of the tribes. I don't know why anyone would want to. Okay. Hmm. All right. So he said we could read and take the books. I wonder if that, I'm gonna, I F5'd just to make sure, but I'm gonna try taking this. Nope, he's not pissed. Okay, we're gonna sell your book. Um, I hope you don't mind. Trapped and level 75. What do you got in there, buddy? What do you got in there? <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, is that red line right there how likely I am to be able to successfully cast it? So close to like a 50-50? Let's see. Yeah, that must be our chance. 46. Huh, cool. Okay. All right. Um, the War of the First Council and a Short History of Marlin. Let's look at that one. Okay, so, led by the legendary prophet Vela, the ancestors of the Dunmer, uh, exiles from Altmer cultures in present-day Somerset Isle. Um, the Altmer are the um, are the like gold-skinned elves. Is that right? In present-day Somerset Isle, came to the region of Morrowind. In earliest times, the Dunmer were harassed or dominated by Nord Sea Raiders. When the scattered Dunmer tribes consolidated in the, into the predecessors of the modern Great House clans, they threw out the Nord oppressors and successfully resisted further incursions. Okay, so they settled this area and... Uh, okay, cool. The ancient ancestor worship of the tribes was in time superseded by the monolithic tribunal temple, Theocracy, and the Dunmer grew into a great nation called Resdain. Resdain was the last of the province to submit to Tiber Septum. Uh, like Black Marsh, it was never successfully invaded and was peacefully incorporated by treaty into the empire as the province of Morrowind. Something like 300 or 400 years ago, as we've read before. Almost four centuries after the coming of the Imperial Legions, there it is, 400, Morrowind is still occupied by Imperial Legions with a figurehead Imperial King. Though the empire has reserved most functions of the traditional local government to the ruling councils of the five great houses, okay? On the Vardenfeld district, so that's the island that we're on right now. Morrowind is much larger than the island that we're on. Vardenfeld territory, previously a temple preserve under imperial protection, was reorganized in the imperial provincial district. Vardenfeld had been... <laughs> Anything good? A flood of imperial colonists and Great House Dunmer came to Vardenfeld, expanding old settlements. Okay. They have a bunch of different houses. Cool. Vivek part of the temple district. Okay. All right. 
We might read more of that later. Uh, I'm gonna lose my voice if I keep going like this. So, there's so much reading in this game. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Louis D, Ivan K, Len, HLLJ, Knife Namase, Caleb Adkins, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.